Hey everyone, it's Celeste and welcome to my booktube channel. Today I want to talk about all the books that I read in the month of September for 2018. Um, I did pretty well. I ended up with nine total books. Um, part of how well I did was participating in contemporary -a -thon. So if you watched my wrap up for that video, then you will recognize some of the titles that I mentioned. Um, and some of it was me finishing up books that I started for that or uh, books that I started had going at the beginning of the month and I was trying to finish. So I'm going to go in the order that I read them. Uh, the first one that I finished in the month of September was an audiobook, The Essex Serpent by Sarah per Perry. Um, I did not really like it that much. I ended up giving it two stars. It's this... Victorian style tale that has a mixture of religious themes and scientific themes and it has to do with this like big serpent like beast that they believe lives in the river and I there were several issues I had with it um, some of it had to do with like characters and some of their actions um, like one character uh, tries to hurt herself and she involves another character who's not mentally stable and I just that made me really uncomfortable. Um, and it was a book chosen for the book club and it was for the month of August and I actually finished it after the meeting so I was not a very good book club member for that. Um, the next one that I read was From Twinkle with Love by Sandia Menon and I have a copy of it here and mine is the Owlcrate um, edition so I was trying to read some of my Owlcrate books that have kind of piled up a little bit. Um, I ended up giving it three stars. It was cute, uh, fluffy, YA, contemporary. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It, it was okay. Um, the next one that I finished was a book on my Kindle, so I don't have a physical copy of it. But it's called Running Into Love by Aurora Rose Reynolds. And it was one of those unlimited free romances. Uh, it was actually pretty good considering, the, you know, it's just a cheesy romance novel. And I, so I ended up giving it three stars. Um, it had to do with, you know, some of the tropes where like the people literally run into each other and then they kind of don't like each other, but then they kind of do like each other and they're in close proximity and yada yada. I mean, it, you know, it's like a lot of other romance books, but it was engaging. I, I enjoyed it and read it um, to the end. Let's see. The next that I read was Contemporary Poetry, and I've had a bad time with Contemporary Poetry. Um, this one was called Soft in the Middle by Eileen Shel Shelby. Um, and I liked it better than some, but I still didn't really like it, so I gave it two stars. So, there were some things about it that, some poems in that collection that I thought were really good, but there were a lot of poems in there that I thought, oh, it sounds, it reads like something somebody wrote on a napkin. Um, the next one that I read, and I have a physical copy of right here, is Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. And I gave it five stars. It was for the book club, um, and it was wonderful. It was the September pick for the book club, and it was wonderful. I gave it five stars. I loved it. It was atmospheric. The characters were gripping and memorable, and it just made you feel things. And after I was done, I still kept thinking about it, thinking about, like, justice and what that means. And so... Um, I really enjoyed it, and I would recommend it for any any of the last two people who haven't read it, because I think everybody's read it, but it was very good. I had, what I did to get through it, because it, I had a slow start getting into it, actually, was I used the audiobook and, like, read along with my physical copy, and that was actually pretty fun. It was something that I hadn't done in a long time. Okay, so the next book that I read was for Contemporary Thon, and it was The Bear by Claire Cameron. And the and this book, I ended up giving three stars. It was okay. The problem that I had with it, that I couldn't give it any higher than three stars, was that the narration is from the viewpoint of a five-year-old. And so it was tough to get into because 
where I would there would be something interesting and I would want to know more about it like say there would be a snippet about something you kind of figure something out about the parents marriage for example uh, then the five-year-old would start talking about Barbies or mud or something just totally off the topic it was kind of hard it was sort of like reading modernism like stream of consciousness except you know like instead of reading like uh, James Joyce and and reading Ulysses, you know, high high art and literature, it was like reading a five-year-old version of it. <laughs> so I don't know. I gave it three stars because the story wasn't interesting. Was interesting. I kept going, but the narration just made it ugh, a little bit ugh for me. Um, the next one that I read was a graphic novel, and it's volume two of Snot Girl, um, and it's. And that's by Brian Lee O'Malley and Leslie Hung. And this was also for Contemporary Thon. And I gave it four stars. I enjoyed it. I think I would have enjoyed it more had I reread Volume 1. And I made that mistake by not rereading it. But I was in a time crunch and I just didn't feel like I had, you know, the time to do that. So I didn't. But nevertheless, I gave it four stars. I recognized it for what it was. Even if I knew that I needed to reread something and I didn't. Uh, the next one is another audiobook. And it's To Be Honest by Maggie Ann Martin. And it's another contemporary book that I read for contemporary -a -thon. Um, It was a cute YA story about a girl dealing with issues. Um, she's plus size and her mother had been on one of those reality shows where they lose weight. And so there were some issues there. And she was also dealing with, you know, romance and, and that kind of thing. And so I ended up giving it four stars. I enjoyed it. Uh, there were some parts where there were some emotional parts that I felt, you know, felt some things. So I gave it four stars. And then the last book that I read for the month of September, I finished it this past weekend, in fact, was A Risque Engagement by Stephanie Nicole Norris. I had originally started this book for Contemporary Thon, but I didn't finish it during Contemporary Thon. Um, I ended up giving it two stars, um, which I felt was kind of generous because it was a Kindle book and it was on the Unlimited, so I didn't have to pay for it. I was part of my Unlimited subscription and it had so many errors in it, like the wrong use of your or the wrong use of their, like, ugh. And so those things kind of stopped me in my tracks and made it hard for me to concentrate. So I couldn't really give it any higher than two stars. It was an interesting story. It had oh, oh, the kind of okay romantic tropes that you see. Um, one that I don't particularly like, which was, um, I'm not going to mention it because of spoilers, but there was one that I just think, ugh, barf whenever I see it. Okay, so there we go. I read a total of nine books. Two of them were audiobooks, and several of them were Kindle books. I've just been on fire with my Kindle, I guess, reading on my phone. So what did you read in the month of September? I'm curious. Did you have a good reading month? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, consider uh, liking and subscribing, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.